Hey everyone, welcome to another flashlight video. Uh, this time, Cyansky, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. It might be Cyan the Sky, I'm not sure, but we'll go with Cyansky. I was kind enough to send me this flashlight, the K3 version 2. It's uh, capable of 2,000 lumens with 700 meters of throw. And uh, we'll let you look at the box a little bit here. And to uh, save time, I went ahead and unboxed everything for you. And the side of the box. And the back of the box. We'll go through all the specs, so don't worry about that. And the other side of the box. So let's go ahead and show you what you get in the box. First, we got the uh, flashlight. It's gonna get the owner's manual. It looks like it's in Chinese and English. They're gonna get a USB-C cable, as the battery is USB-C uh, uh, charging capable. And you also get a bag with a lanyard, uh, two O-rings, and an extra tail switch cap button, or the button for the tail switch, an extra one. All right, so let's take a close look here at the Cyansky K3 version two. It's very nice, got some nice knurling on there. It's kind of grippy, comes with a clip. Got the tail switch in the front. So let's talk about the specs here. This is designed as a long range tactical flashlight designed for the military and police, uh, search and rescue and security. Uh, the LED, the LED in this light is an SFT-40-W LED. And also this is equipped with, uh, if you can see these little beads right here, these are zirconium beads, which can be used to smash or uh, shatter glass uh, for tactical missions. So very good to know that. Um, there are optical weapon mounts and switches available for more tactical purposes. This flashlight is IP68 waterproof. And it's also two meters impact resistant in case you drop it. Um, let's see what else. The working temperature range is minus 30 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius. Or for those in America here, uh, minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. This does come with a lithium ion rechargeable battery. So let's go ahead and open this up. You will have this insulator here. That's what this little paper says right here is to take the insulator off before operating. This is a 21700 5000 milliamp lithium ion battery that comes with it. And as I said, this is USB C rechargeable. And on here, you'll see an indicator that will be red when charging and green when it's charged. So keep that in mind. Go ahead and look at the tail cap here. You got a nice spring there. And you got another spring inside here. A little hard to see, but it is double springed. So we'll go ahead and put the battery back in the flashlight. Always like, like I say, when the flashlight manufacturers give you the battery with the flashlight, very nice. Let's continue to look at the specs. This also will tail stand too, which is nice. In case you need to use it as a lantern, in case you lose power. Um, this is made of A6061-T6 aircraft grade aluminum, and it is hard, uh, hard anodized uh, for an anti-abrasive finish. Um, let's see what else here. You have a constant current circuit for, consist for consistent brightness. You have intelligent IC controls for temperature to avoid overheating and discomfort to the user. So in other words, it will stop from getting too hot to damage the flashlight and also stop the flashlight from getting too hot to hurt the user. So very good to know. It does have intelligent memory function. Um, the, the, the lens here is a tempered glass with a double-sided coating. Um, the battery level indicator. So you do have a side switch here to select the modes. And uh, when you first turn on the light, this, this will light will turn on. If it's uh, solid green, it means you have 76 to 100% battery life. If it's flashing green, you'll, you have between 51 and 75% battery life. If it's solid red, you have between 26 and 50% battery life. And if it's flashing red, you're somewhere between zero and 25%, which means you need to replace or recharge the battery. Um, you have a low voltage warning also. The red light, the light on here will flash red 
three times per second and let you know you, the voltage is low. And you also have a low voltage mode. So when the battery is below three volts, the light will dim down. This is to protect the battery. As you may know, lithium ion batteries do not like when they go below a certain voltage, and sometimes they will not recover, meaning that if you go to, to recharge the battery, it won't charge. So just keep that in mind. That's a safety feature to make sure your battery is protected. Um, turbo. Again, turbo is 2,000 lumens, but after 90 seconds, it will drop down to 800 lumens to save it from overheating and to uh, hurting the user. Um, like I said, basically we went through, it has temperature control protection and will lower down to protect from overheating and injury to user, as I stated. Now let's go over the specs as far as the outputs on this flashlight. I'm going to go ahead and put this on your screen. So you have an eco mode, which is two lumens for 400 hours. You have low 30 lumens for 66 hours. You have medium 150 lumens for 16 hours. Um, high 450 lumens for four and a half hours. Turbo 2000 lumens. Again, I put a little asterisk next to the two hours because it will dim down to 800 lumens after 90 seconds to protect the flashlight. And strobe is also at 2,000 lumens. Max throw is 700 meters, and max candela is 124,609. Um, warranty, thought I'd go over the warranty real quick as this is a new uh, flashlight company for me. First time I've, I've reviewed or even held a Siansky flashlight. The warranty on this model, the K3 version 2, 15 days free replacement, five years of free repairs if you have quality issues under normal use, and note the battery has a one-year warranty, and after the warranty period, user just pays for the parts. So if you, you're out of warranty and you still want to get your flashlight fixed, should anything occur, you just have to pay for the parts from my understanding from the warranty. Again, you should check that out on their website or the user manual. So with that, let's go ahead and go ahead and go through the UI. This is a pretty simple UI, so let me adjust the camera and we'll go ahead and do that next. Okay, the user interface on the Siansky K3 version two. So you're gonna use the tail switch. You do have momentary, so you can slightly half press the tail switch and it'll come on. If you let go, it turns off. Um, to, to turn it on fully, you just click the tail switch on. It's gonna start out in low. 30 lumens, and then you're gonna hit the side switch to move up in mode. So next one is medium, 150 lumens, high, 450 lumens, and keep in mind my camera will auto adjust for brightness. And then it goes into turbo, 2000 lumens, and if you click it again, it will cycle back to low. So let's go ahead and put it in medium, turn it off, let's turn it back on. Yes, it does have memory. And you can see as you turn the light on, well, let me turn that off again. See the battery level indicator right there. Right now it's saying green, so we have a good amount of battery. So just showing you that real fast. All right, to get into Eco, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold down the side switch and you're gonna go ahead and press the tail cap in fully. You can see right there, that's two lumens. If you go ahead and click the side switch after you're in Eco, it's just gonna go into low, medium, high, turbo and cycle back through a low, medium, high and turbo and then cycle back to low there. Okay, so to get into strobe, what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn it on. This is a strobe warning to everyone. Then you're gonna quickly press the side switch, or I'm sorry, you're gonna hold it down. So my, my apologies, you're gonna hold it down, uh, the side switch down to get into strobe. And you can see it's got a nice alternating pattern there. Uh, to get out of that, you can just click it again, and you're gonna go back to the last mode you're in. So we're gonna go back down to low. So again, fairly simple user interface with the K3 version two by Siansky. Um, so uh, very nice. We're gonna go ahead and take this outside, see how it performs in the dark. And uh, just a little spoiler, uh, I did test it uh, already out at night uh, and it's got a phenomenal beam on it. It's quite a thrower. So uh, I think you'll be impressed. So let's go outside and do that next. Okay, we're outside with the Siansky K3 version two, capable of 2000 lumens and 700 meters of throw. I have the camera angled down at the ground, so we're gonna start out in Eco, which is two lumens. So again, you hold down the side switch and press the tail switch to go into Eco. This is two lumens. This uh, flashlight is more of a thrower than spill, uh, but you can see a little spill and you can definitely see that hot spot. And let's see, that's the bird bath over there. I'm gonna aim the camera back up again. 
So that bird bath is about 25 feet away from me. I can make the hot spot out a little bit in the trees there. You might be able to see that on the camera, but it's a little difficult. Um, but anyway, this could be good for reading in a campsite or light discipline around a campsite or light discipline of walking around the house in case you want to disturb others in the middle of the night to use the bathroom or go to the kitchen, something like that. So it could be very useful for that. Um, but let's go ahead and bump it up into the regular modes. So we're gonna go to low, 30 lumens. Again, it's got a really intense hot spot out there. There you can see there is a trash can there in front of the stump. That is about 50 to 60 feet away. And definitely you can see that hot spot as I scroll around the yard here, check out the trees. Clean this up a little bit more. So you can see the top of the trees. Those trees probably 70, maybe 80 feet away. Um, best guess. So that is 30 lumens. Let's bump it up to medium, 150 lumens. Definitely starting to see that uh, that beam, if I get my hand in there, right? Uh, yeah, right there. You can see the beam, sorry. It's hard to do this on camera. The beam right there. But uh, lighten up the birdbath quite well. Lighten up that tree stump with the, uh, the uh, trash can in front of it really well. Very nice. Trees up there, very good. Okay, let's bump it up again. This is uh, 450 lumens. Again, you're seeing a lot more spill now, but still have that really intense hot spot. And you can see that beam on the camera a bit coming from the flashlight, almost like a laser. So very cool. Let's bump it up to turbo. 2000 lumens, man, it's really intense, really lighting up everything. It's actually overpowering my camera. I try to set this camera, guys, just so you know, I always try to set it to, to, to see what I see with my naked eye so you can, guys can get the best I can do to relate it on camera. Um, obviously, right now, that setting is uh, overpowering the setting on my camera, but when we start out in low, the two lumens, um, I set the camera such to see what I see with my naked eye as to so I could show you what I see with my naked eye as best I could with a camera. So now it's really blowing the camera out. But that beam is really intense, as you can see. So you can see that beam just, I mean, it's uh, its pretty wild. It's like a laser beam. So really awesome. And bump it back down here, back to low, 30 lumens. So I want to say a big thank you to Sciansky, uh for sending me out the K3 version 2 so I can show it on this channel. Uh, for you guys, so I really appreciate that. I will put any links or discount codes or coupons in the description of the video for you guys in case you're interested in checking out this flashlight for yourselves. But very impressed, especially with the throw in this flashlight. So uh, anyway, guys, thanks for joining me for another video, and I'll have some more videos coming out soon. You guys take care, and happy lumens.